Meanwhile, there are some scientists who reckon that the world is headed for a tsunami which will dwarf every other one in history, including the 2004 Boxing Day disaster. They have identified the potential flashpoint as an active volcano called Cumbre Vieja on La Palma in the Canary Islands off the northwest coast of Africa. The volcano erupted twice in the 20th century, once in 1949 and then again in 1971. The scientists are convinced it will blow its top again. They're just not sure when. But when it does, the scientists believe there is a strong possibility that its western side, which is inherently unstable, will collapse, and billions of tons of rock would crash into the Atlantic Ocean, creating a mega tsunami of unprecedented size. Having predicted the scale of the giant wave, scientists like Dr. Hermann Fritz in Switzerland have little doubt over the catastrophic outcome. If the Cumbre Vecha were to collapse as one single block, it would create a giant mega tsunami. With an initial wave height of 650 meters and a wavelength of 30 to 40 kilometers, traveling westwards across the Atlantic with speeds up to 720 kilometers an hour towards America. The tsunami would hit the east coast of North America in less than eight hours. Its momentum would then sweep it inland, overwhelming and destroying everything in its path, including the cities of New York, Washington, D.C., Boston, and Miami, further south. The death toll would run into millions, making it the greatest disaster the world has ever known. The wave would be so widespread that it would also hit the African coast, the Caribbean, and parts of the south coast of England. But North America would suffer most. But put it this way, if I was living in Miami or New York and I heard that the Cumbre Vieja was erupting, I'd be keeping a very close eye on the news. But whether or not the collapse of Cumbre Vieja will cause the greatest catastrophe the world has ever known, one thing remains certain, tsunamis will continue to pose a significant threat. With around three billion people, half the world's population, living near the sea, the risk is always there. What no one can do is prevent the tsunami. They are an immutable force of nature, far beyond the power of man to control.